Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save an image anywhere. So you can either save it to core data, to user defaults in your database. The principle is the same. I'm going to show you how to take an image and then save it. So if that is something you want to know how to do, then just keep watching. We start by creating a new Xcode project as always. It's going to be a single view application. And I'm going to call it uh, image saving. I'm going to go next. And uh, as you will see, I did not select core data. Of course, you can use core data, but I'm just going to use uh, user defaults because that's the easiest thing to do. But as you will see, you can save, uh, use this method in order to save it in user defaults on the server in core data. It's going to be the same all across the board. So I'm just going to pick the simplest option right now, which is in my opinion, user defaults. I'm going to save it on the desktop, head over to the view controller. And or first I'm going to head over to storyboard and I'm going to while we're here Just drag over an image view. So I'm going to search for image view drag it over to my storyboard make it Make it fill this whole screen like that stretch it wide Some constraints on all sides and there we go And I'm just going to connect it up with my view controller by of course control dragging and I'm going to call it my image view. Connect, and that's it for the storyboard. Goodbye, we're heading over to the view controller. Now, in order for us to have an image to save locally, we have to find an image. And I'm going to do that by heading over to Google and searching for image. Uh, I'm going to go to pictures, and I'm just going to pick uh, this dog right here drag it over to my desktop and then drag it from there over to Xcode. And I'm just going to call it dog.png. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to write all the code inside the view dead load method. Okay, so now that we have the image right here, dog.png, I'm going to save it as a separate image in a variable. So I'm going to say let image is equal to UI image named and then just I'm going to give it the name of my image which is dog.png just like that okay and then I am going to explain my philosophy when doing this so first I'm going to encode it so I'm going to take the image that we now have so that is dog.png and I'm going to turn it into ns data and as you will see ns data is basically a bunch of on uh, characters. So I'm turning an image into characters so that it's easier for me to save. So I'm saving a string of characters, which is NS data. And then when I want to display it, I get that data and I turn it into an image again and display it in my image view. So how I do that, you will see right now. But as you will also see, it's really not that hard. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So here I create my image variable and then I turn it into some data. So I'm saying image data of type NS data is equal to UI image repre PNG representation of my image. And I need to force unwrap that and say as NS data. So here, as, as, as I told you before, I'm taking my image and I'm turning it into NS data. And so that you know how that looks, I'm going to print it out for you. So image data, and then I'm going to run the app. And as you will see, we don't get an image. When we print it out, we actually get a bunch of characters, a whole bunch of characters. So here, as you can see, it's printing out all of the characters that make up the image. And as you will see, it's a whole bunch because it's a pretty high resolution image. What we should have done is of course comp uh, compress the image so that it doesn't take up as much space and isn't as high res. But as you will see, it does. it is able to handle bigger files like this one. It just takes a bit more time. So as you can see, a bunch of characters here. And these are basically the characters or the data that makes up our image. So this is the form that I am going to save it in. 
So how I save it is simply using user defaults as I stated earlier. So user defaults dot standard dot set value for key and my value is my image data for the key saved image. Okay, so now I have saved image and now let's say I want to display it, which I in most cases want to do. So then I have to decode it again. And the way I do that is I say let data, so I get the data or I create the variable that's going to hold the data. And I'm saying user defaults dot standard dot object for key and the key is saved image and I am going to turn it into as an or cast it to NS data and then I am going to display it in my image view so I'm going to say my image view dot image is equal to UI image and we're not going to give it the name we're give it, going to give it some data and the data is going to be data simple and straightforward like that so let's launch the app and see that it first of all displays our image but first we have to probably force and wrap it no just as and as data and we're going to play it as i like to call it and see that the app is functioning the way we want it to so let's see how it looks so the app app is pretty laggy that's because i am printing out the image data which i of course don't need to do so let's remove that before we launch it one more time Let's see launch and there we go okay so here is our image nice and cute dog and everything is working as we wanted to well if everything is working we will find out in two seconds by removing the saving part so I'm just going to keep the decoding part where we turn our saved image into data and then display that data in the form of an image so let's play it without saving the image and uh, this will be the test of whether or not we have been successful so let's see and there is our picture so that means everything is working as we want it to so let's just run through the code one more time see what we've got first of all we take the image which is dog.png and we turn it into ns data so that it basically is uh, faster and easier to save then we take all of that NS data and we save it wherever we want to. We can save this in core data on our database or as I did here in our user defaults. Then when we want the image again, we simply say or we store that data in a data and we get the data by going into our user defaults and getting the object for our key saved image. And then we display that uh, data in the form of an image in our image view. So that's basically all there is to it. As you can see, it's really not too much to it. It's these few lines. And um, that's basically all I wanted to say for today. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you click the subscribe button. And then I will see you back in the next video.